Hello, citizens of Gotham City. Today is a new day. We're starting a new series. This is the Seven Days to Die brand new fresh start playthrough. We're starting here. We're going to start at day one. As you can see here, this is my new house that we're going to see built in this episode. Hope you stick around. Hope you enjoy this game as much as I do. Thank you for watching. Let's get nuts. We're going to be starting fresh. This is a new world for me. We're going to get into it together, see how we survive. My first order of business here today is just to acclimate to this new randomly gen world. Start sorting through trash. Oh, bow parts. That's good because I primarily run with a bow. I'd love to have that early on. Stones. I load up on grass early and I load up too much and then I don't end up <laughs> needing it. But I'd rather have it. I'd rather have it and just be prepared ahead of time. Let's do a little sorting here. Trevor's got what you call OCD, so it'd be nice. To go ahead and start sorting. Alright, let's go ahead and place this bedroll, get rid of some of these quests in my. Ooh. Still getting used to Alpha 21 and how different it is. And punch this tree. Alright, let's go ahead and craft that stone axe. I don't ever... ever use that, so I'm just going to chuck it. All right, getting things a little sorted here. Let's chop this tree down. Nice to load up on some resources early here. I haven't decided yet if I want to do a base inside of an existing POI or if I want to start fresh. Part of me wants to start fresh and just build my own. I'm currently doing playthrough with a friend of mine and we built inside of an existing POI, the farm, but we've had issues with, you know, zombies just continually getting in, attacking us, spawning inside of our walls, even though we have a land claim block up. So, might just start fresh on this one. I'm just going to keep loading up on wood here. Wood and stone, I will need it all. Craft some clothing here, shall we? Not great, but it'll keep us warm for a little bit. All right, and let's make our wooden club. I don't particularly like a wooden club, but it's a good weapon to start with until I can make my trusty bow and arrow that I run with. See a chicken running around there. Craft bow and arrow. Let's get some stone. Ooh. Eggs? Damn. I was hoping for some eggs. Chop this up. What kind of concerns me about being close to a town here when I spawn in is dogs or boars. Those boar. They are not easy to come up against. Go ahead and repair that. I'm going to gather as much stone as I can because as I find more bird's nests, I want to make some more arrows. They need stone for that. Make our bow. I can only make two arrows. Not the best. <laughs> it's not the best for me. Okay, I'll repair that. And let's let's just keep gathering some resources here. I see a rabbit. I'm not as concerned about 
food at this exact moment. I'm more concerned about finding bird's nests so I can get more arrows. Chop this rock up. Ooh. This will be interesting for me because I've never really played by myself in a new world that much. Primarily, I play with a friend of mine. Speaking of that friend, he goes by Rolling Monkey Gaming here on YouTube. He is playing through a long series of the survival space game Imperion. Really great stuff. Got a very good series going. I recommend checking it out. I'll place a little card up at the top here so you find that better. Oh, ten. Let's make ten. I'm not in the replanting business here today. And we're stone. Just pick all those up. Right. More stone. You know, this early game stuff for me is the most tedious, but also some of the most fun because you haven't really established you know, your your existence in this apocalypse yet. So the sky is really the limit. On what you want to do? Alright, more stones. iron here? Looks like some iron. Nice. Go ahead and repair. Switch these two and that's that's my OCD speaking there. That's my usual lineup for my inventory until I get to the point where most of my tools and weapons are all you know, either iron or steel and then I just leave that all in chests. I know there's more down there but I'm not not interested in mining that vein just yet. Just wanted to get a little bit into my inventory. It's appearing like bird's nests are a little scarce here early on. Not thrilled about that. In there? Go stealth here. Nothing in here. I mean, I suppose if I really wanted to. Just hunker down in there for the night. That's going to be forged iron. I don't have any of that. That's not too shabby. Let me just mark this on my map here as... I'm just going to put dead. Just in case. Just in case I run across some issues and I can't... Can't quite find that. Kind of got to show up on my map. There we go. That's what I wanted. Sometimes, even though I've put hundreds of hours into this game, sometimes I forget the basic stuff and I feel like a fool. So, bird's nest. I finally found an egg. Uh-oh. Yeah, here our first zombie. I want to avoid that. I'm not really prepared for that yet. Not really prepared. I usually I do a sledgehammer. Let's see if I can make that sledgehammer. There it is. That is my my go-to weapon in this game. Really is the sledgehammer. Ooh. Ooh. I hear you smacking around there. Go ahead and repair while I'm thinking of it. Oh. Oh, is it a biker? Who do we have here? Oh, it's the big guy. We're going to call him Lenny. Oh, Jesus, Lenny. And I'm low on stamina. Stamina is not. There we go. I'm very leveled up here in the beginning. We have one down house. Hey, the Fermier residence. 
I'm just gonna keep focusing on making arrows. I'm not to a point yet where I feel super comfortable in my abilities to ransack. <laughs> I'm not gonna not gonna run myself in there, but I am going to collect this corn. Here, corn. What I'm trying to avoid is running into a boar, because they are lethal early. Wow, I found all kinds of food here. Blueberries, potatoes, and corn. Fantastic. I am kind of particular about keeping my tools upgraded and repaired as best I can. Especially early on, because I don't want to be in a pinch and go to use my sledgehammer or something and it's broken. And more. Hey, eggs? Eh, no eggs. Eggs are gonna be scarce. Kind of fun, it's my... my playthrough with my friend. I've actually gotten to the point with my cooking abilities that we've surpassed the, the need for eggs, really. Oh! Stay away from us! Got him. Let's just use this. I don't have a bone knife yet. But I believe we're about to craft one. Make a bone knife. Be better to collect food with. Ooh. That just feels like a mistake waiting to happen. It looks like a lot of dead corn. And there are probably nasty boars in there. Server's not ready for that. Server is not ready to take that on. Hey, we got our first magazine. Nice. Make some more arrows. I'm just going to stock up on those arrows here early game. Here we go. That. Nitrate and rotting flesh off of that. I see some healthy corn. See a chicken. My brave. Let's not push our luck. I've done that before, where I go gung ho. Did I find a traitor already? I might have found the traitor already. That would be fun. Let's place this building block and fortify it so we can get rid of this quest. And let's frame it up. Bust it down. Oh yeah, I need to make a campfire. Okay. Here we go. And there he is. Yeah, that's the trader. Fantastic. I'm enjoying that. I mean, usually it seemed like an Alpha 19 and Alpha 20. And I would spawn into a new world. I would spawn kilometers away from either a town or a trader. And with my three times I've loaded into A21, it's all been within shooting distance of a trader. That's been a nice change up. Go see that trader. See who we have. We have Trader. Trader Joel's. And what does he specialize in? Because on my other playthrough, I have Trader Hugh, and he does weapons, so we'll see what he specializes in here. I'm loving the changes to all the traders in the new update. Oh, let's read some magazines. Fantastic. Alright. He looks like he does weapons, too. Great. Sorry, man. I'm reading your magazines here first. I'm trying to see if he has any any loot that I can take. That just leads to outside. That's what I assume. Hello, sir. Hey, I see your inventory. Let's see if I can sell anything. I don't really have anything to sell. But what does he have? Just so I have an idea. Armor. He has an anvil. That's good. Cooking grill, cooking pot, water filters. 
Okay, some ammo. Lucky goggles. Forge steel. Okay, looks like he has Come some pretty decent tomorrow. stuff. We get new goods daily. Let's just do let's do a I fetch quest. No matter what. I'm We're gonna focus on some fetch quests done. here. Earn some coin. He earned some supplies here early game. Because we are brand new into this world. Just freshly birthed. We have. I didn't think so. And gasoline. I'm not in a position yet to need gasoline, so I'm going to leave it. Helipad. Very nice. Got a destroyed forge. Very nice. Got some brass. I'm going to leave it for now. Very nice. I can now craft a forge. That's fantastic. I don't have a base yet, but when I get one, that'll be very nice for us. Blue. Very good. Chemistry station. Gunpowder. I don't even have a weapon yet, so I'm not focused on gunpowder. Liquor pile. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat this. And drink our water. Clear out some inventory space here. I'm going to keep the torch in my toolbar here. Just so I have it. You never know. All right, you nasty zombies. Yeah, we've got a, got a couple here. Let's see if we can take them out with a sledgehammer. Nice. Very nice. He's not dead yet. Now he's dead. All right. What do we have there? That looks interesting. Yeah, we'll leave him. Not our job to keep that trader's walls safe. We have a um, service truck here. Let's go ahead and search it before the zombie catches up to us. Okay. Again, I'm not in a position yet to... Ooh, let's just run past. This uh, two-bit tower. Very nice. Is that an apartment building? It kind of looks like an apartment building. So we're in a full-on city here. Not a large city, but decent enough. I missed. There we go. Got our first loot bag off of him. Very nice. I'm just going to use all of these magazines. I'm not interested in paper right now. There's quite a few. That's my only hang-up. Pretty interesting looking area, though. One of my favorite things is seeing you know, how my random gen world's going to look. I'm going to eat this. And this. Clear up some inventory space. Recog. Let's just use it. Just use it up. I'm about to walk into this place. There's gonna be some zombies. Let's avoid that. Get the feeling we'll see one of those burned up zombies in there, so I would like to avoid that for now. What's this over here? This is a dock? Oh, interesting. That's, that seems to be calling my name. Very interesting. Oh, I like that. Let's, let's come back here. Do this quest, the trader. And let's come back and maybe... I don't know, though. It's just all wood. How much do you want to bet if this took any damage here, this whole thing would fall? Yeah, as much as I like it and would be interested in calling this, like, outdoor event space <laughs> a temporary home. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that checks out. She got stuck there. <laughs> And let's hit her. Here's one. Okay, hold on. 
I wait for that stamina to recharge. Very cool looking outdoor space here. We got a duffel bag. We have a switch there. That actually got my first bit of armor. What does the switch do? I would be nervous to find out. I'll do it though. I'll find out what it is. Shit. Oh shit. The hell was that? And knocked all that down. Weird. Take the arrow back. Let's just get ready for some sort of chaotic event to happen here if I turn this on. Let's search through here. Crossbow. Let's eat this. Grab this. I would like a crossbow. So I'll hold on to that. That's kind of what I want to s attempt to get here early on as a crossbow. Robotics parts, not for me. Alright, I'm ready to I'm ready to get the hell out of here. We're gonna hit the button and run. Ha ha ha! Hey, that's cool. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh, we have a feral. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's pretty great, though. You actually get lights when you turn on the switch. That's cool. I like that. Very fun little detail there. It's a shame this could have been a nice little... Let's get nuts world for us, but we're going to pass on it. I feel like there's too many dangers. Because I collected something off of that aisle back there, and half of it fell apart, so I would rather not risk anything happening. We're just going to avoid it for now. Place is falling apart. We have a fetch quest here. We have a level one fetch quest. Now you'll see my demeanor change later on. Right now, my focus is... We have Recog. Let's just use it. Yeah, take that, pal. Right now, my focus is on survival. Later on, I'll get a little more ballsy with it because... And I'll have better weapons, feel more confident in my ability to survive. Right now, there's a level of fear. Nice. Ooh, it gets dark in these places. Upstairs, I think. I'm gonna guess it's upstairs. Ooh. Right above me there. It's very dark. There's one thing that the update did for just the overall feel of the game is the dynamic lighting inside of houses or POIs. It'll get scary. It'll get very scary. I would like to find a cooking pot or a grill. Oh, I got some coal. Take this animal fat. I don't want rotting flesh right now like that noise. Pick the iron. Murky water. Already searched. Woohoo! Alright, let's lead them back out here. I don't know how many there are. There might just be the one. But when it gets dark and you get pinned down in a, in a house, the houses are scariest. The bigger POIs don't bother me. The houses are scary, though. Close quarters. Yeah, take that. And when the lights go dark, it's concerning. Let's venture our way upstairs here carefully. Be careful here. Close that on her. Here's to be in this bathroom. Just 
cautiously make our way in here. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want it, though. Oh, okay, it's behind this hidden... Let's knock out these windows here. Get an easier way out. I prefer not to get bogged down by zombies on my way out. Get a nice entry point back out to the street. Go turn this quest in. Yeah, okay, let's hoo hoo. All right, let's test my parkour skills. I'll tell you, I've fallen enough in this game to learn how to better protect myself from a fall. And it's just because of repetitive sprained ankles or broken legs throughout years of playing. Ooh. Felipe Residence. Just for fun. <laughs> yeah, let's avoid it. Let's just turn in. It's getting a little later in the day, too. So I need to kind of prioritize my activities here. We're probably going to hunker down in that little shed for the night. It won't be the strongest, but I also don't have forge or anything like that yet, so I don't suspect that I'll really be on the map for a lot of these zombies. Except for you. Love the new vehicle models. Much more realistic. Adds to my immersion for sure. Take all of it. Nice. Another, another magazine. Very, very nice. I like the look of that place. It's a nice looking house. Arrow up. Dr. Karen Higashi residence. Hey, we got an egg. Very nice. Oh, hold still there, Mr. Chicken. Uh, moving too fast. Buy and go grocery. The trader. Hey, we have another nest. No eggs, though. That's all right. Oh, that was weird. That door kind of bugged out on me there a little bit. Let's go search behind everything, see if we can find more. There's just vending machines. Here's another workbench, untouched. There's some rags, we'll take the rags. Some lead. I don't have much use for it at this exact moment, so we're going to avoid. I'm going to avoid that. Once I set up a camp and I'm ready to kind of make it homey. Oh, it's locked. We'll go upstairs. I keep forgetting. Keep forgetting we're within the walls of the trader. My grabby mind is picking up everything at this well, point. Survivor. Hey, we and got it. Cooking with gas. Let's do... Let's see. Let's just get some ammo. Let's get some early game ammo here. Hey, see so your inventory, sir. Let's sell... Let's sell these crossbow bolts. I don't have one right now, so it's not... Not doing me much good. He won't take that. I didn't remember having that, to be honest with you. Got my first bit of Duke coins. Right. Have we don't have much to Save sell him. Animals. Thank you. Uh, it's getting a little later in the day, so let's let's go ahead and head back to our little shed. We 
maybe see if we can pick up some more bird's nests on the way back. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, another snake! Damn snakes. This swiftly moving concerns me. Damn. Trying to telegraph. Whoa! Not my... Not my snake! She was trying to eat my food. I forgot they do that. Kind of a fun... Immersion... To that. Anything good? Hey, we'll wear it. Take some vitamins, too. Alright. Try and conserve some ammo. I'm not terribly... Bothered by his existence at this exact moment, but I might be in a few minutes. We'll see. The Macmillan residence. I believe that I do want to build my own scratch built home. Shed will be fine for the night, but overall, I would like to make my own little house. It's been a long time since I've done that. For the past several years, with all the updates, we've just picked an existing POI and fortified it, and then built it up from there. So it's it's been a bit since I've just scratch built a little shack. Not super concerned about all the bone at this moment because I don't really need it. I don't want to clog the inventory too much. We'll take that wood though. I'll need that to build. There's a Karen there. Karen, stay in your spot, I'll stay in mine. There we go, some bird's nests. Very good. My shed. I know I'm getting close. Let's go ahead and knock this down. Get some wood. And a little later in the day... And then I'm thinking tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., we set out and find ourselves a nice little homestead. There we go. Like some more wood. Thirsty. Well, do I have anything? I get rid of the nitrate powder for now. And let's make some more arrows. Very nice. We'll be pretty stocked up here. We're gonna ditch that, get rid of my encumbrance. Didn't find a cooking pot. Hoping to find one out there in one of those. I know we didn't search many houses, but I'm hoping to find one just out of pure luck. Now what do we. Eh. I don't remember that being there. I wanna see. I just wanna test myself. Do I think I can hit it? No. <laughs> That's a long shot. Very long shot. Alright. Nice little rough neck shelter here. Oh. Stay away. I'm gonna have to take her out. Yeah, take that. Take that. She's not dead though. She is now. Give me back my arrow. Thank you. Far. I'm still tempted, but he's too far. Damn it. Get rid of this. I'm gonna place my bed roll there. That this will just be a temporary residence for us. Oh, interesting. It's kind of built into the wall there. Very interesting. Let's make a campfire. Got ourselves a, a decent little shack for the, the evening. You are encumbered. Well, 
This is our humble beginnings here, folks. Humble beginnings. I can make boiled eggs. All I can make is boiled eggs. We need water more than food, though. That's the issue. Let's split a little bit of this wood. Place it in here. I was thinking I couldn't. I did need a cooking pot. Damn. This will not be worth it. This will not be worth it. Well, we'll leave the campfire here. Need some water. It's not going to be worth it to me, I think, to risk the, the dysentery for drinking the nasty water. Let's do this. Let's go see if we can find a cooking pot in the Brummet residence. Might luck out. There's a nest. There's a hoodie man. Nice. Not dead, but he didn't feel good about that. I did. He didn't. Damn. There we go. There's an antique mall, cafe, like a church down that way. Let's go stealth mode here. And I'm not super, super interested in disturbing anyone. I just need a cooking pot. I'm betting that door is going to be locked. Run up here and check. Door is locked. That's what I figured. They want me to go in through the garage. I'm not thrilled about that. Shoot him while he's down. Very nice. Think around if there's anybody up top. Hidden. Getting late though. Any clothes for me? Read that. Let's wear those. Get rid of those plant fiber leggings. They're not great. They were just get us by. Cooking pot. Cornmeal. I'll take it. I've got some already. I'll carry more. My favorite magazine. Grilled corn. I can make grilled corn if I can find it. Let's not get caught up here. Do our whoa. <laughs> Speaking of. Back off. Shut the door. But I don't like going into these houses. I see some blueberries. They have a little bit of Thirst quenching, I think, to them. I don't remember for sure. Pick up some inventory space and let's make some more more stone arrows here, shall we? Get rid of the feathers. Food pile. Nice. We'll take it. I'd love to come away with a cooking pot or a grill. And then when we move on in the morning, we'll at least be set up a little bit more. Avoid waking anybody up. Not quite prepared enough for that yet. More cornmeal. This game wants to give me a lot of cornmeal. No cooking pot. Let's not, let's not disturb anyone else. Getting late. I took a nasty hit from that lady there, so let's not. Well, here we go. I wasn't even wearing a shirt yet. Not uh, press our luck. Get back into our little shed before it gets dark. That's when the nasties come out. Ah, they're chicken.
Come on, give me some good stuff. There we go. All right. Head back into our little shack. I'm going to take one more tree. Oh, there's a crawler outside of our shed. He's going to piss me off if he knocks at our door. This. In. Not thrilled. <laughs> we don't have anything to drink right now. I have beer, but I'm going to wait until I get into my little shed before I have some beer. There's that crawler. Here you nasty. Damn it. Yeah, stamina just runs so low. Early on. There we go. Just hang out in here, shall we? That's some skill points to spend. I will probably spend them on... Place this in? No, because this place is kind of funky. Yeah, see, it's... Doesn't like that. Doesn't like that. So let's see what I can do. I'm gonna make more arrows. That'll be good. Air this. And we'll drink the beer. Let's drink that beer. Can I make anything else? Let's let's try. Try making some baked potatoes. It's food. It's not great, but it's food. All right. We have a bandage. Let's go ahead and use that bandage. I got smacked up a little bit there. Sort some things here. Can I make a pipe weapon yet? Let's see if we can make a pipe weapon. Look at me. I look rough. I'm not wearing shoes. I'm like John McClane, except I'm not cool at all. I don't like the pipe baton. Blue. Okay. So. Let's just make a pipe rifle. Let's wait until the potatoes, the baked potatoes are done. We'll get our wood back. We'll make a pipe rifle. And I might, I'll do a pipe pistol too. I found a little bit of 9mm ammo, so we'll put that to you. Alright, night is coming. Let's take this and turn it back on and make some pipe weapons. So we're going to make a pipe rifle. Oh. What are we missing? Okay, never mind. We won't make both. I didn't think that through. But let's load it up. Oh, I see a deer. It is dangerous out. Not in a position where I can really survive. I get mobbed. And if I shoot it from a distance and I can't get to it and they're running after me, they'll just eat the deer anyway. So we'll just kind of lay low here for the evening. Let my potatoes cook. Guard meat, that's not going to do me any good, so we're just going to let that go. What about... We already have cornmeal. Let's not worry about cornmeal. I was hoping I could make something out of it, but there's really nothing I can make out of it at the moment. Once we build ourselves a nice little settlement, and use my land claim block. We'll make some dude collectors and... I won't go too far from the trader. I'd like to stay close so I can do missions for him and you know, continue to get parts for a dew collector. Since there's not much we can do throughout the night here, you will see me in the morning. Had a pretty uneventful night. Quiet. Didn't see any zombies. Didn't have any issues. I did 
see that my uh, thirst was getting desperately low, so I decided I'll have, I'll chance it and try some murky water. And as you can see, it made me sick, so it wasn't a great idea. We're a little worse for wear here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my skill points. I have five of them, so let's see what we can put those into. I'm going to say, let's go one into healing factor. Let's go into do a little bit of stamina here. And then I'm going to focus on Skull Crusher because I have the sledge. And let's see what else. Let's do a little sneak attack. And... Let's do, let's do archery. That'll round us out a little bit. It's officially morning. We're going to say goodbye to our nice little shed. I'm going to take my bedroll with me. And we're going to head out. I'm going to try and find a nice little hovel to rest in. Let's take this guy out. There we go arrows for me of course he doesn't oh there's a deer let's catch us a deer shall we we got him he was the deer i saw last night that i didn't want a chance so nice that that worked out for us in the morning my focus this morning starting out bright and early is to find a nice little plot of land for us to settle in and it's chopping this guy up here. All this meat is great, except for the fact that I have not found either a cooking grill or a cooking pot. We'll take the feathers. More feathers. How many arrows do I have? 124. Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna try and get up to 150 with the arrows. All right, we're going to leave our shed behind. I know I'm dehydrated. It's not great. The downside is the only water I have on me, murky water, and it's not great. Not great. But let's just focus on finding a little plot of land to build on and then maybe finding a cooking pot so I can boil us some water. I'm having a hard time here. Gotta get this search before somebody walks up on me. Let's just take it all. Take that businessman. Water. Please have water. Nails. Oh, I missed. There, I didn't miss that time, though. Alright. Let's... See if we can find something, something that would be nice to settle down on. Brass here, not that that brass is going to do me much good. I don't have a forge. Let's see. Right. Salmon is going to take a bit of a hit just because I am so thirsty and dehydrated. We're just going to try and avoid her. Can't really spare the... No, it's not a... It's this dude! If I can take him out with arrows. Oh, that was a delayed response there, buddy. Very delayed response. Okay. Let's... We're in a bad way here, folks. I don't usually run into this issue much. But this is my first venture out on my own. My own world, so... Not terribly, terribly surprised I'm having issues.
I don't want to build too far from the trader. I don't want to... If I use a POI, I just don't want to use one that's too big that it's unmanageable. Even though I like the space, I don't want to use something... Let's see if we get some honey. Cross our fingers. No, we didn't get any. That's what I was afraid of. Did get some eggs that time. Yeah, my concussion's still giving me issues. That lady in the house. Let's see if we can get some honey. Cross our fingers again. Out of stamina. Rough. Let's crouch and see if we can build up some stamina a little bit more. And we didn't get any honey. Damn. Let's just make eight of these for now. Get us to 150. So the bad part is that I don't have anything that I can use to quench my thirst. I'm going to focus on just getting eggs for a while. I think I've got enough arrows to begin with here. See a water tower over there. Still no honey. That is a bummer. My thirst is bottomed out. But I am going to take some of this golden rod just in case I find a cooking pot. I can cure my dysentery. There's another shed. That's like the one we stayed in last night. Okay, let's see. Be close enough to the trader out in this area. I can just find something more manageable for a place to put down some roots. Being that I'm on my own, I don't want to get anything too large that I can't control outer perimeter on. Fresh corn there, but I'm not really focused on that at the moment. There's a little house here with a, a pond out front, but I th it looks too burned up on the edges on the carport. We'll avoid that for now. Let's smack her. <laughs> Knocked her head off. Very nice. Let's head back here. See if we find anything. Iron. We can find a place to set up shop. Pass and gas store 107. Ooh, my thirst... It's in a bad way here, and there's the concussion. I've got a little over an hour left on the concussion, unless I can find some painkillers. Guy there. Joe's USA. It looks like a, a junkyard. Try not to be too picky here. Oh, maybe I can find something to drink while we set out and find a place to live. Here we go. Oh, it's all... I might just use what little bit of Duke coin I have. Get myself something to drink. 340. Anything to drink? It's all just food. I guess that makes sense, because it's a food vending machine. But I was hoping... And there's a cooler there. Ugh. I feel like I'm just going to expend too much... Stamina. I'm trying to search that place. Please give me something to drink. Take the glue. Damn. Let's just keep looking. Now, a little tidbit of advice if you haven't played Alpha 21. Avoid these. Just didn't know. Uh-oh. You are dying of dehydration. Find something to drink. 
and knocked his head off. Did not know that if you try to break the the outer layer, I'm going to call it, so you can unlock it, it will not only set off the alarm and the sirens and everything, but it will spawn droves of radiated zombies and cops. Very treacherous. Would not recommend. Alright, let's search this ambulance and see if maybe we can find something to drink. There's some med kits. Damn. Uh-oh, there's a big guy. Just need something to drink here, guys. Think you could leave me alone? No? That's nice of you. He's trapped around that. Aw, oh, are you serious? The hitbox was weird. Take this guy out. I know I'm out of stamina. I'm not surprised. Even a drawback on the bow is like life or death here. Alright. Take all those back. Okay, come on. Almost didn't see him there. That was, would have been bad. Oh, painkillers! Let's just take all of those. Fantastic. Let's take some steroids. Kind of increase our carry weight here for a minute. And see if there's anything to drink in here. Please? Anything to drink? Or murky water. Damn. Don't want the sham. Nothing to drink. Jeez. Okay, well. I'm dying of dehydration. So... Jericho Ranch. That's actually the POI that we built in in our other playthrough. Not in this exact location, but it was Jericho Ranch. Just like that. It's a pretty nice base for us. We enjoy it. Just need something to drink. Alright, I don't want to go too far into town here, so let's just... Cross our fingers. I'm just going to have to drink the murky water. I know it's taking my health down. Giving me dysentery, but I need something here. Okay, let's, let's drink this down. And then use a med kit to kind of heal back up. But I'm just... I can't run. I can't do anything. This is nasty. I can't imagine how nasty this is. You find most of this murky water in toilets. So I can't imagine how gross this is. But it's the zombie apocalypse. What are you going to do? Okay. Alright, let's... Let's deal with that. Oh, what the hell? What the hell am I getting attacked by? Oh, the snake! That damn snake! <laughs> let's just avoid that. Let's go this direction. We're gonna turn right at this road up here and just... Figure out what we're going to do. Use my ability to run as long as I can. We're just having a rough go of it here. Early game is pretty difficult. Some lockpicks, that's nice. I hear a generator in there. Judy Witch, I like Judy Witch. Yeah, thanks for the eggs, Judy. All right, we're just gonna keep walking past Judy Witch. I think that's gonna be too tough to take over this early in the game, especially I'm just dying of thirst. I don't think I should risk it. Halls Pay Lake. All right, let's just keep trucking here. Find a place to live. We have to find something soon. More brass. Yucca seeds. I don't even have a place to live yet, so I'm not worried about farming. Just yet. More seeds. A little military encampment there. Gas station. We have a... Mill out here or something? Oh, did... Did I just find... 
Oh. This is not a... What is this? Trader Bob. Wow. I just randomly came across another trader. Bob, can you help me out, man? I can't believe I just... Ooh, duct tape. Or glue. He does vehicles. Very nice. We're going to be close friends here. Any shoes? Take the hoodie. You don't know. Oh, cooler? Damn. I'm not going to be able to get into that. I don't even know why I tried. Machine. Hey, here we go. Let's buy one of these. I'm going to use some of our... Uh, our coin, but... I mean, we don't have much choice here. Hi, Trader Bob. Can I see your inventory? Can I sell you some things here? Let's sell some brass. Let's sell some feathers. And let's sell... And let's just sell some nails. And I'm in a bad way here, man. Sell some steroids. Okay. A little cozy profit there. Let's see if he has anything to drink. It's water. Oh, he's a cooking grill. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, my thirst is up a little bit. Let's buy... Let's buy the cooking pot so I can boil something. What else can I sell? I need some... I've seen some money here, man. Um, let's just sell the repair kits. I just need money. Uh, let's see. What else can I sell? Can I sell the duct tape? I mean... I need to get to 600 here so I can make some food. No, it's not great, but... What choice do I have this early into it, you know? 500. We're 100 away. We're 22. Uh oh. We're getting down to it here. Um. 40. Ugh. Hurts my soul a little bit, you know? Just sell the. There, we have enough to get the grill. Ooh. It's been a real Yeah, pleasure. thank you, sir. Okay. We'll do. That was rough. Spent everything we had. Sold a lot to get there. But damn it, we didn't have much of a choice. Can I just live here? <laughs> Can I move in with you, Trader Bob? You got a spot for me? Let's wear those. Let's wear some shades. Take the hoodie. Leave us alone. We're having a hard time here. I'm going to take the headlights because I want to make something here. Don't need lead right now. I think we're going to build close to Trader Bob. Hey, there's a brass radiator. We'll take that. Take the brass radiator because we can scrap it. A regular brass and sell it. So let's build close to him. Take that. Get my arrow back. What if we build over this way? A lot of them out here. Nice! Get that construction, man. That's... <laughs> Ooh... Interesting. And <laughs> I just build in here. And I just build down here. Ah! Oh! He wasn't crawling!
And of course I'm infected. Son of a bitch. We're just not getting an easy go of it here. I <laughs> just wanna, wanted to build in the drain drain section of that. Can I build next to the trader and just live next door? Let's let's try it. Why not? This is all open space here. Take that. Okay, let's see. Let's cross our fingers for some honey here. Come on. Damn. No, I didn't think it would happen, but I was hoping for a little reprieve here. Yeah, hey, bitch. Hey, I leveled up. That's fan. Fantastic. Yeah, let's... Let's put down some roots. Here at the end of the road. How about that? What do we think? Corner lot. Or nestled in here. Let's try nestling in between these trees here. All right, let's make some building blocks. But we start out with 100. And I'm just going to chop down some trees to bolster our building process. Okay, keep chopping. And this might just be a temporary house, but we need to get something set up here. When we're having a hard enough time as it is, just trying to survive. Look at this guy trying to get to us. Far. Far. Damn. I was hoping I could hit it. Still infected. Hmm. Okay, let's just build here. We'll just start it. Ten by get rid of this. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's build ten by ten. Let's just build a ten by ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Get a nice little shack started here. A lot of these branches out here, these twigs. He's still trying. Look at that guy. I gotta give him credit. He's been crawling his way over to us for a bit. I'm gonna be really mad when I just go out there and smack him to death. Do a little clearing here. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. We all hear you. Where is he? Where did he go? Did he give up? Is he right there? Oh, why did that land there? Did you see that? Yeah, that's not him. I lost him. I lost track of him. I don't know where he is. We'll just build ourselves up. A little, little shack. And maybe at some point I'll inhabit a POI of some sort. Something a little sturdier. But for now, 
build a home. Oh man, be some resource heavy building here. It's not even that large either. I'm low on low on wood. Let's chop down a tree. Get some more wood. I'm still infected, but there's really nothing I can do about that at this point. To chop these down. Uh, of course. Can I eat one of my... Get rid of this. I don't want that. Let's eat one of my baked potatoes and an ear of corn. Getting really close to being able to build fire and actually cook some food. That'll be nice. Day two, it's about 1 p.m. I'd like to get this fully built and fortified before nightfall. Would be nice. That's the goal. That is the goal. Getting dehydrated again. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm dehydrated. What you want me to do about it at this point? Let's make a rifle. Let's make a pipe rifle. Ah, oh, I forgot we got rid of the glue. Okay. It's fine. That's just going to be enough for now. All right. Let's make some more building blocks. Make a hundred more. All right. Build ourselves a staircase at the front here. Let's do filled stairs. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Dead center. Building away. This part of the fun, though, you know, building your own place. I've not done it in so long. But it is, it is fun. Let's do a wood double door. I love the double doors. Thank you to the fun pimps for that, because it's been part of my, my struggles with the game for a bit is just some of the building aspects weren't, weren't quite there. It's like you want to build a double door. You just have to place two single doors, but they'd swing the opposite way, and it always bothered me. So I'm glad that they put in a double door for us. It's a nice touch. Alright, we're getting there. I want to put a window in here. We'll save a spot to put in some windows. Not necessary, but damn it, we're not going to sacrifice aesthetics in the apocalypse. We want a little bit of nicety to this, don't we? Put that there, there, there. Does that match? Does that match? No, it doesn't. It should match now. Yeah, I know, buddy. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. He's, he's not happy. He's not happy. There's a lot of thirst going on. All right, let's make a window. Just make a nice little window here. Make a window? Can I? Can I just make a regular window? Nothing fancy. Not window broken. Window, window empty. Window empty. I just want window. That's what I wanted. Right there. There we go. There we go. There we go. See? We're getting there. Let's just copy the shape and make this a little quicker. I'm going to make a block to stand on. Hey, we're getting there. Love to see it. Love to see the progress.
build base to stand. There we go. We're gonna have to get rid of that tree because it's kind of interfering with our building area. Put this up. And we're out of wood frames. Make a hundred more. We'll just keep at it. We're almost done, though. Just about done. Making sure we don't miss anything. Not bad. Not bad at all. They... Maybe start building the roof, and then we're good to fortify. Oh, damn it. Wasn't trying to do that, but it's all right. Build up so we can build our roof. Go here. The roof. Let's make the hitch corner. There we go. We need those back. <laughs> we need those back. Let's let's just build our blocks again. Not the most tried and true method here, but I'm just trying to have fun building. Woo! Hey. I'm going to build this across. We have a ceiling to place in here. Don't fall apart on me. Nice. Fabulous. I'm trying to build my ceiling here. Oh, shit. I was afraid of that. I got too gung-ho there. Sometimes we make mistakes, but that's all right. We can make those. We can afford to make some mistakes. Three. All right. Let's try this again. You're dying of dehydration. Damn, I'm having a rough go here. Now let's drink some murky water. I know. I know you don't like it. I'm doing my best here, man. Let's let's finish this. Finish this house out. Go to ramp corner. Okay. And let's go back to that shape. Got to hope that nobody screws with our house while we're building. I'm going to do this to speed up my process a little bit. Save that outside corner for last. All right. Very nice. Go ahead and copy that shape. Place it down. Imp him for the back. All right. Very, very nice. Copy that shape. And... Try and finish this out. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to... Gonna have to get rid of that tree, because it is interfering with the wall there. Unsurprisingly, it's interfering. Go ahead and make... Do 25 more of those, just so we have excess. We'll collect some more at the end when we take down our block build up there. Ah. Very nice. Hey, not too shabby, folks. Now comes the not so fun part of 
<laughs> building it all up. Start with stairs. And then I'm going to start with the floor. Go ahead and scrap these. We are low on wood. It's going to take a bit. Be nice to find a claw hammer and speed this up, but we're just going to make do with what we have. What's likely to happen is I'm probably going to die because of my infection. But I'd like to do that after I've built myself this house. That way I have my bed roll and I can just respawn here. No big deal. And obviously it's not my not my recommendation to have your character die. But you don't have much of a choice. Early game, you can kind of deal with it a little bit. You'll make up for any lost XP. I have, yeah, I only have five wood left. All right. Let's chop down some more trees. We can finish out this house. Yeah, I know. I know. I know you're thirsty. Doing my best. Let's crouch and see if we can conserve any of this energy. And then we'll chop down that tree on the opposing wall of the house. I'm hungry, too. Let's eat some corn. Eat some corn and baked potatoes, actually. Your fatigue. You are hungry. Maximum stamina is decreased. I know. I know about it. Dying of dehydration. Yeah. Desperately dying of dehydration, and I don't have anything to remedy it. Let's move fast. The big problem is just thirst this early on. My concussion's gone. That's good. I have an abrasion. There's only a few minutes left on that abrasion. A dysentery is not, not the best. Ooh. Stamina is just so low, and it's not regenerating due to the dehydration. So let's do this. Let's just try and make a place so I can put my bed. Five. Struggling here. Struggling early on. Go ahead and place that bedroll down there. Gonna place that in the corner back here. Let's place our torch. Uh, let's wait until we fortify before we place the torch. Build up a few of these blocks. Then I'll place my torch here in the back corner. There we go. Hey, it's a start here. I'm gonna reorient that bed roll. Oh, that torch is gonna cause issues, isn't it? That's what I thought. Oh, shit. Well, that's bad news for us. I lost my torch. I can make another one. Torch. Let's just max it out, make four of those. Right, so we have our bed rolled down. We're in a bad way here. What I'd like to do in this corner is make my campfire. But I'm just so low on resources that I can't do much. So, man. Like I said, we're just having a rough go over here. I have no stamina built up. Probably gonna have to drink dirty water have high health I'm just gonna have to bite that bullet drink nasty sewer water thrilled about it I need to drink yeah I have to get my stamina back up oh let's get to 50 health at least all right that's as far as I'd like to go <laughs> In case we get attacked at night. 
Okay. Let's hurry. Chop down this tree. Next to the house. Man. I'm anything but an expert in this game. I love it. I've played several hundred hours into it, but I do not consider myself any sort of expert. I just have a lot of fun playing it. Been playing it since... Uh... Ow. Oh. I think my friend and I played our first ever session probably eight years ago. That's right. I would say eight years ago. I found the game at GameStop on PlayStation. For a long time, I had been pining for a zombie game much like this, where you go out, you build your build your house, try to survive against like zombie hordes. But there had been so many games up until that point. They were just waves. You know, he had Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. I'm a big fan of those. We didn't really have anything in this genre that was more survival horror. So when we found this, it was kind of an anomaly for us. It's like, wow, I, what is this game? And we've been playing it ever since. We played PlayStation up until two years ago. I'm new to the PC gaming world. I just now have, you know, this this rig for about two years. We played the old alpha on console for longer than we've been playing it on PC. Right. Go back inside. It's easier to gather resources too when you have extra people because one person can focus on building, which is generally what I end up doing. I'll usually build the be the builder, and my friend will gather wood and stone. So it'll be kind of continuous. That's all right. Learning process, you know. Okay, let's make a campfire. Gonna be down and dirty. But we're gonna make a campfire here. Fire. And in that campfire, we're going to put our cooking grill and our cooking pot. And we're going to just take 50 wood, because that's all we have. And we're going to make as much grilled corn as we can. Because that's all I know how to make at this point. Let's see if I can spec up my cooking. Master Chef. Can I make bacon and eggs yet? Not yet. I have two skill points left, though. So let's put some into strength. And let's put some into Iron Gut. And let's put another one into Fortitude. I'm out of skill points. Never mind. I wasn't thinking it through. Make a chest. There we go. We're kind of getting there. It's not the best looking base yet, but damn it if we're not making some progress. Okay, this is going to be scary. I want to place my land claim block right there. Hey, that wasn't too bad. It's just going to be part of my structure at this point. Hey, let's go build up a little bit more inside. I'm still infected at Almost six percent. We are we're struggling here. Just enough. All right, that's all we have. All we have any uh, any wood for? Man. Okay, let's just 
Can I make another chest, maybe? No, I need 10 wood for that. Let's go chop down a tree really quick. Chop down a tree, get a little more wood. Make another chest, put all my stuff in it. Just before nighttime here. Chop down a few trees. Uh, this is just a cyclical thing here that I'm running into is trying to build, but I don't have enough stamina to build because I don't have enough water. But I just don't like my structure being unprotected like that. Because they're just blocks. They're not secured. They're not fortified blocks. So any form of attack, it's just going to be weak to it. Do this. Let's get this built up. The window's built up. We may try to sneak out here at night and chop down some more trees. Okay, let's make sure we craft a chest before I forget. Let's just have enough. Do that. Oh man, so much left to fortify. We're struggling here, folks, and this is what happens. This is what happens in the zombie apocalypse? Move those a little closer to the windows. Okay, put all of our cooking in here. A lot of eggs. Just don't have it unlocked yet. I didn't even think that through. And let's put our other chest right here. And we're going to slot all of this excess in there that we just don't really need right now. Save my ammo. Can't build pipe rifle yet. Okay. It is a it's a start. Turn this campfire off now. Eat this grilled corn. Turn this fire off. We're dehydrated. Find something to drink. We're just going to run into this constantly for a few days. I would say the first week's going to be like this. When you play with other people and they find resources, you share those resources. But when you're by yourself, there's nobody to, nobody to help you gather. It's a little tough. And this is just on the base game. I have played the Undead Legacy. Very, very tough. I was not prepared for how tough that was. It was almost too tough for me. Too tough for me to enjoy because it was learning how to craft. What is that? Learning how to craft everything new. Nothing was the same. It was a very difficult 90. We'll take that to sell. Sell that in the morning. He's going to close here soon. Take these. Just hoping for some luck. Cross our fingers for some luck here. Lights. Those are great. I can sell those. Hoping to... Double. I'm going to find some liquid that I could drink. Check the dumpsters next. Potato seeds. Let me take those. Here's some soup. Wow. Let's take it. Thankfully, we found something that's... We'll take pumpkin seeds, too. That way I can grow. I know. I know. interested in rotting flesh right now. 
Let's head back home. Actually, I'm gonna get ballsy here. Let's see if I can. Oh no! Oh, okay. Not closed yet. I was gonna say, my damn luck that I said, let's go check out Trader Joe's. And then as soon as I say that, he's ready to close up. But shit, I wasn't trying to do that. See if we can sell him. Let's sell him the puffer jacket. Let's sell him all the brass, the headlights, the bullet tips. 490. We get anything good? Anything that we can put to good use here? Water. Five waters for 120. Let's just do it. Let's get some boiled eggs. Oh! Whoa! 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 <laughs> we did that just in time. I spawned in like four different spots when it said he was closed. It was wild. I was all over the place. Let's get back into our house. Hunker down. It's looking rough. The only big thing that worries me about not having this front fortified is when I go to open the door and close the door, I might accidentally pick up a block that I don't want to. But let's eat our boiled eggs. Oh man, I was hoping I was hoping the 120 was for five of those, but it was just him saying that he had five, not that it was buying five. But what are you gonna do? We're in a we're in a rough patch here early on. We'll take what we can get. How much wood do we have? Not freaking much here, people. Uh, let's try and finish out our floor at least. Uh oh, I hear somebody. Yeah, he wants to say hi, and I don't want him to. Oh. No. Got him. They're dangerous at night. I'm not trying to do too much out here. There's one right there. Let's let's just hunker down for the night. How much wood did I get? 14. I can do one block with it. Not that that does me a lot of good, but we'll do it. Don't have enough. We've got very low security in this place at this point. I'm still thirsty. I'm still hungry. Okay. Let's look at the skill that we need. We need... That. We only need two more skill points put into this. So we, if we can read some magazines, that'll help. Master Chef. Yeah, that'll let us make bacon and eggs, grilled meat... Goldenrod tea finally gives a little bit of a fighting chance. Prepare this. And we're just going to hunker in. Getting close here. And we're going to do the same thing. It's not going to be very eventful at night here. If it is... You'll see me before that, but if not, I will see you again in the morning. Not quite morning yet, but you can hear all the rustling. It appears we have somebody knocking at our front door. That I don't love. Let's take him out. No wonder we do. Oh, she's feral! Let's wait for her to get up and let's smack her. Oh my god, okay. Damn it, nurse. Nurse Ratched. 
Everything was fine. So I heard her busting at the door. I don't know. Hopefully we won't have any more issues. The sun is rising on our third day in game. And I think that's as good a place as any to stop for today. Thank you for watching, folks. We will resume our next video trying to fortify this house, trying to deal with our water issue, and hopefully getting rid of my infection. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy this new series. This is one of my favorite games. So I'd be happy to share it with you. Hope you enjoy. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. We will see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel.